Did you know that one in six couples worldwide struggles with infertility? With more people turning to assisted reproductive technologies like IVF, in vitro fertilization, many are asking, how is IVF different from natural conception? And, is one method safer or more successful than the other? Stick with me until the end, because in this video, we'll break down everything you need to know, from the science of conception to IVF success rates, risks, and what doctors actually recommend. If you care about your fertility and reproductive health, make sure to subscribe to Food Health 360 for more medically accurate videos. Let's start with how natural conception happens. Each month, a woman's ovary releases an egg during ovulation. During intercourse, sperm travel through the cervix and into the fallopian tubes. If sperm meets the egg, fertilization occurs, forming an embryo. Within 5 to 6 days, the embryo travels to the uterus and implants into the uterine lining. According to the CDC, under ideal conditions, the chance of natural conception is only 20 to 25 percent per cycle. Now, with IVF, in vitro fertilization, the process is different. Doctors stimulate the ovaries with medications to produce multiple eggs. Eggs are collected and combined with sperm in a laboratory setting. After three to five days, doctors select the healthiest embryos. One or more embryos are then transferred back into the uterus. The average IVF success rate is 40 to 50% for women under 35, but it declines with age, based on data from the American Society for Reproductive Medicine. Now let's dive into the five biggest differences between IVF and natural conception. 1. The processed natural conception happens inside the body, no medical intervention. IVF involves hormone injections, egg retrieval, lab fertilization, and embryo transfer. 2. Success rates natural. Roughly 20 to 25% chance of pregnancy per cycle in healthy couples. IVF. About 40 to 50% success for women under 35, but drops to 10 to 15% for women over 40. Mayo Clinic, 2024. 3. Medical risks natural conception. Lower medical risks overall. IVF. May cause ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, OHSS, multiple pregnancies, and increased emotional stress. 4. Embryo screening and AMP. Genetic testing natural conception. You cannot control embryo selection. IVF. Embryos can be tested with pre-implantation genetic testing, PGTA, to identify chromosomal abnormalities and reduce inherited disease risks. 5. Cost considerations natural conception. Free, no procedures involved. IVF. In the United States, one IVF cycle costs around $12,000 to $15,000, CDC, 2024. So, should you choose IVF or natural conception? According to the American Society for Reproductive Medicine, IVF may be recommended when you've been trying to conceive naturally for over 12 months without success. You're over 35 years old and ovarian reserve is declining. There are issues like blocked fallopian tubes, low sperm quality, or ovulation disorders. While IVF is a groundbreaking technology, it's not a magic solution. If you're healthy and under 35, natural conception is still the best first approach. But if you face fertility challenges, IVF offers hope for millions of families worldwide. Remember, always consult a fertility specialist before making any decision, every case is unique. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to Food Health 360 and turn on notifications. We'll continue sharing doctor-approved, science-backed medical insights to guide you on your fertility journey.